Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black and welcome to part 3 of my playthrough of Monmouth's Quest Paradox RPGs version 2.40 update. This time we get to head into the big event which starts in the Mao Castle. This is where you talk to Amira. Only I absolutely refuse to recruit Amira, so I hacked the game and put a little event here that will start the event for me. The short story is there's an event you can register for in Granor at the Coliseum. The Yamatai Men's Festival. It's held every four years and it's a grueling set of brutal trials for men to compete in. Alright, at this window we can register for the Yamatai Men's Festival. It's going to be a long story, so are you ready to go? Yeah, sure. Well, well, this is Champion Luca. Could it be that you want to participate in the Yamatai Men's Festival? Yes, we heard it would be opening next week. Of course, we're going to be showing in it. Understood. I'll take care of the registration documents. You know that, that it's a that it's participating in teams of four people, right? Now, this year's competition is a girls' band. You form a band with four girls and compete in your skillet presentation. Your performance, perhaps, is a better word. Girls' band. Wasn't this a series of brutal trials for men? Well, the world is in the situation it is in now. These exceedingly bad times. To be living in the world as it is now, that is the most cruel trial of all. So, within this world, it's foolish to go and pile even higher trials upon it. So this competition will be something we can just have fun with. Is it really okay to be changing up the competition, a historic competition no less, just for that reasoning? So that's how it is. We're doing a girls band. So, how about it? Are you withdrawing your desire to participate? Are you withdrawing your application to per participate? No, we're heading out. We're going to put together a girls band in one week's time. Uh, are we really going to be okay? Leave it to me. We have overcome more and greater trials than this. Compared to saving the world, a girls band is easy. Uh, if you say so, I'll leave it to you. Hey, <laughs> girls band, huh? Sonia, what are you considering? So we've decided to put together a girls band. And in one week there's competition. I wonder if we're really going to be able to slap something together. So in one week's time you're participating in the big competition. Huh. That's uh, pretty difficult. Well, you're the one of us that has the most experience. So, we want to entrust you with the production and training. Because I'm a pro, I can't come out in the competition. But, to my full ability, I'll produce you. So it's an amateur competition? What? First of all, Let's select the four members. Naturally, I'm participating. With this appearance, I can fully pass as a girl. Yeah, you are a little bit older than you look, aren't you? <clears throat> as for musical experience, it's not that great. Tamamo had me do some had me do some training with the taiko drums, and that's about it. 
So then, I'll also be on drums. After that, choosing based on my personal uh, personal judgment and biases. Since after all that's happened, we've got these new allies from other worlds. How about we pick the remainder of the, the three remaining from our other world guests? So that's how it goes. First, I've always had my eye on you, Rijeo. What? Me? In girls' band? Next up, Luvisa. Uh, but I don't have any experience with musical instruments. Finally, Tarsa. Hmm. You want me to do it? Okay. These members that Saki selected, they should be fine. Will you all do it? I'm not getting the feel for it, but I'll give it a little shot. If you think I'll be helpful, I'll do my best. Hey, as for me, I get a little embarrassed being on stage in front of people. And I basically have no experience with musical instruments. Isn't there somebody else? Saki's made this selection. Without a doubt, you should have talent. Come now, won't you be one of our members? If we can win in the competition, we'll get a good that can be you that will be useful in our adventure. It should be make it easier for you to return to your original world. Probably. Yeah, fast talker in Alice. Alright, it can't be helped, I'll do it. So then the four members are decided. For the band name, how about Dream Collab Girls? Mm-hmm. That's a good name, isn't it? So then, next is the assigned instruments. Everybody, what musical experience do you have? Well, like I said before, in Yamatai, I did some beating of the taiko drums. It was part of my training, about an hour, night's worth of it. Okay, Alice is on the drums then. You are the three? I have almost no experience with musical instruments. In the secret church, I touch the organ a bit, and that's about it. So, how about keyboard for you then? As far as stringed instruments, I can pretty much draw them all. I had many sessions with Badu. Who's Badu? Novisa remembers Badu's bad gags. Okay. So then, Tasa is on guitar. I have no experience with musical instruments. Nobody's on bass yet. How about you give it a shot? You've got a good sense to you. I'm sure you'll be able to do well. Okay, with this, our signed instruments are set. After this, it's just practicing. So then, let's right away start with our practice. Going forward from here, it's not publicized. We're going to be keeping our effort as maidens a secret. Okay, I'll be supporting you from a distance. So then we're leaving the rest to Saki. And in the end, in one week's time, I wonder if we'll be able to raise a band that can win in this competition. Gee, why didn't my name come up? I'm a girl too, good and proper. And I'm a childhood friend, too. 
Well, if you want to talk about works of Japanese fiction, the childhood friend usually does get into the band. But we got nothing to say about that, I guess. So then, in no time at all, one week passes, and the day of the big competition has arrived. Current time, 1 p.m. Ah, oh, already afternoon. I slept a lot. The story is that we're going to be participating in the evening festival at Yamatai tonight. So, for the whole day, we've taken the day off of adventuring. And for given the opportunity, the Mao Pocket Mao Castle is being cleaned and maintained. Thanks to all the cleaning and maintenance work, the uh, the mood of the Pocket Mao Castle is going to be different. As I recall, the evening festival is will de will depart for the evening festival at five o'clock. Until then, I guess I'll waste some time here in the castle. Hey, pizza delivery! Huh? Pizza? Since today's a day off from adventuring, I'm doing work and delivery. And we got an order for a delivery pizza here from the Mao Castle. From here. Just who ordered it? Probably the Mao, right? Go on. Before it gets cold, take it. Luke takes the pizza from Gob. Pays her the price. I got it. I'll take it to Alice. So then, I've got to return to my delivery work. I've got to hurry in order to make it to the festival in time this evening. All right. Do your best. Papoon! And Gober runs off. So, let's take this pizza to Alice. Now, come to think of it, I'm kind of hungry myself. Probably Alice is on the second floor in the stage area, doing more training, practice. After delivering the pizza, I think I'll uh, grab something for lunch as well. Oh, Luca, bringing out a pizza for us. This is rare. Huh? Aren't you the one who ordered it, Alice? I have no recollection, recollection of such a thing. That's troublesome. So then, I've got to search out who ordered it. Now, wait. If you do that now, the pizza will get cold. I'll take responsibility here. So, entrust the pizza to me. You just want to eat it yourself, don't you? But that's all right, I guess. As Alice says, if we go and take the time to search out who ordered it, the pizza will get cold. So Luca gives the pizza to Alice. So everybody, eat up. No need to, uh, no need to hold back. It's my treat. Are you trying to bribe them? Is this really okay? Luca, will you eat some as well? No, I'm good. Well, setting that aside, it's true that I'm hungry. I just woke up earlier and missed breakfast and lunch. So let's go to the first floor, the dining hall, and have a late lunch. All right, let's follow directions. We're good with that. She's good. 
So tasty. Yep, we can eat with her. So, so tasty. So, so tasty. Eating with someone who's having such fun with this. You also get the feeling, uh, get a good feeling when eating. So together with Shizuku, we eat our fill. Come to think of it, Shizuku, did you order a delivery pizza? Pizza? That doesn't ring a bell, no. But now that you've talked about pizza, I'm feeling hungry. I'm going to have seconds. Yeah, she's so cute. Now it's two o'clock. Okay, departure for the festival is at 4 p.m. 5 p.m. Until then, let's uh, appropriately waste time in the castle. But still, still bothers us about who ordered the pizza. Well, let's freely waste time until five o'clock. Now, over here is usually outside, but this time it heads towards the dorms. And we can go to Sonia's room. And we arrive in front of Sonia's room, when we're about to knock on the door. Help me! Save me! <clears throat> it seems best I stay away. Hmm, I wonder what Sonia's up to. Well, not much to do. Oh. Welcome to the Puchilania Inn. Would you like to rest for a while? Here at the end you can advance time. We're going to go to 4 o'clock because nothing happens today. So then, come on in. And we rest, taking our time at Puche Lamia. Current time, 4. I have a message for Luca. Sonia is calling you. She would like you to come to meet her in front of the library on the second floor. He's, she's got a test for me. I wonder what it is. Oh, Luca. I'm carrying luggage over to the chapel. Would you help? Won't you help me out? Okay, got it. Luca and Sonia split up the luggage. You know where the chapel is, right? It's the first floor, all the way to the north. Uh-huh. Let's go. So then, next to the altar is where we're putting all of the luggage. Will you take it there? So, Luke and Sonia drop the luggage that they've been carrying here. Huh, okay. This is good, right? Yep, thank you. At that time, throughout the castle, the five o'clock bell rang. It's time for our departure to the Yamatai Evening Festival. But more importantly than that, it's time for the time loop to start. I'll give you the short answer. Luca dies. And if you don't know how Luca dies in this game, I suppose I won't spoil it for you. I'll see you at one o'clock. And we're back at one o'clock. Huh? Okay, we got eaten by Lamias. And we lost consciousness. And when I come to, I'm standing here in the Pocket Mall Castle again. The current time is 1 p.m. But I should have heard the 5 o'clock bell? What's going on here? 
Was that just now a dream? Together with Sonia, we were all of a sudden eaten by our allies. That can't have been a nightmare, but what just what was it? It was a rather live li lifelike dream. Hey, pizza delivery! Huh? Ah, same line here. Today's a day off from adventuring, doing work, delivery. There was a order for a delivery pizza from Pocket Mahalo Castle. Another pizza delivery. Isn't this the second one? Nope, this is my first today. But several hours ago. No, that was during the dream, question mark. But this feels really weird. What's up staring into space like that? Come on, it'll get cold. Take it. Luca takes the pizza from Gob, pays her the price. But whom should I deliver it to? Surely the one who ordered it is the Ma'o, right? No, in that dream earlier, it wasn't Alice. In the end, is it good? Is it alright to be taking this to Alice? Anyway, I have to return to my delivery work. I have to hurry in order to make it in time for the festival tonight. Papyoon! Golf runs off. Yeah, this is weird. It looks like it's going just the way the dream earlier did. I wonder if that really was a dream. Anyway, standing here staring into space and uh, the pizza really will get cold. Let's deliver the pizza to Alice. Okay then. Oh, Luca. You look like you're you got a perplexed look on your face. What's wrong? There was an order for pizza. But it wasn't you, right? I have no recollection of such a thing. I thought so. Just who ordered this? I don't know who ordered it, but... If you take the time to search for them now, the pizza will get cold. So I'll take responsibility. Go ahead and trust the pizza to me. The way this went is the same as that dream. I guess he said that to himself. So, even while shaking his head, Luca hands Alice the pizza. Come, let's all eat some. No need to hold back. It's my treat. What is this feeling? It seems like t this is all going according to that dream. Luca, are you going to eat some? No, I'm good. Something weird's going on here. Anyway, our departure for the festival is at 5 o'clock. Until then, let's waste some time and let's find some way to waste time in the castle. Let's see, there's my notes. And I'm going to be using Puchilami again. Rest until 4 o'clock. There's a message for Luca. Sonia is calling you. Please come in front of the library on the second floor. 
where this is going like I thought. Ah, oh, Luca. I'm taking this luggage off down to the chapel. Won't you help me? And I suspect that this too is the same as the nightmare. Thing seems like everything is going in the same way. So then after this, in the chapel, along with the five o'clock bell, we get eaten by Lamias. Sorry, I'm not feeling real right, right now. I can't help you. Hmm. Are you all right? It's going to be the evening festival, right? Coming up soon here. But somehow I get a bad feeling about this. So I decided not to take action with Sonia tonight. It's true, it seems by the look of your face, it's drained of color. We're going to be departing in just an hour. How about you just take a little time to rest? Yeah, I'll do something like that. Here at four o'clock, Alma Elma is helping out at the bar. So she says, welcome. I, from time to time, work part time in here. We can ask about the pizza, but I'll spare you all of that. We're just going to have a drink here. On Leoma, you're the Queen Succubus, right? Was your mother also the Queen of the Succubi? Yeah, she was. She's gone now, though. She's gone, huh? Sorry for asking such a thing. No need to worry about it. She became a human and died as a succubus. So, mom having become human, I don't know what's happened to her. Whether she's alive somewhere, whether she's already dead. With regard to, you know, your mother and all, that's somehow a cold expression to be taking. It seems somehow I shouldn't have broached this conversation. But I just wanted a little bit more of Alma Alma's backstory before the five o'clock bell rings. I'll see you at one o'clock, kids. And it's one o'clock. Again, 1 p.m. We come to 1 p.m. And I'm standing here like nothing happened. There's no way that everything up to now was just a dream. Could it be I'm reliving the same time frame? So, together with the five o'clock bell, my allies in the vicinity become weird. Then, I'm attacked, and then it's 1 p.m. again. Probably I am reliving the same time period. Just, what's going on here? Without a doubt, there's some kind of incident occurring here. So then, also it seems like nobody else has noticed. Hey, pizza delivery! Ah, again. It's uh, inconsiderate to Rod, but this isn't time for pizza. We got to search out the source of this incident. Anyway, I need to consult with somebody. But. Since time is looping, whom can I trust with this? I 
I'm acting myself, and I thought it was a dream to begin with. If I don't choose the right person, it won't really be a good expenditure of time. So, an ally whom I can rely upon would be... Hmm, <laughs> blah blah blah, cancel. This time I'm working on my own. Because listed there was not the obvious most best person to ask. Nidoka! Q, Q. All right, now we can ask about the incident. Consult with anybody at all about the incident. So, Luca consults regarding the incident. So that's how it's going down. Do you understand? Uh, you don't, do you? Q, 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 Q. Q. Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q I have absolutely no idea what you are saying. Q Q Q Nuriko gently bites Luca's hand. Nibble nibble. Ah! You can't eat my hand. Nuriko releases Luca's hand from her mouth. Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Uh huh. I don't understand at all. It seems like Nuriko is trying to tell me something. But I don't understand her words, so this isn't getting anywhere. Thanks, Nuriko. I appreciate it. Next up. This person isn't going to have any way to help us, but, you know, advance the plot. Oh, jeez, this pisses me off. Getting treated like my even my brain is made of muscle. Isn't it, though? Just what happened. That sphinx threw some rills at me. I wasn't able to answer any of them. And she just made a fool of me. Jeez, it pisses me off. Won't somebody go and break her nose for me? That's a Japanese figure of speech. Roughly speaking, I'd say, won't somebody take her down a notch for me? What you select here doesn't matter, so let's just say I'll go do it. Oh, you'll do it for me? She is in the shrine. She is off in the shrine. So show her who's boss. No, oh, hold up. Cow Mao. Just uh, cool your head a little, please. Hmm. Yes, you're right. Look at. Would you like to talk about my ambition? I thought we ruined your ambition. Or rather, your ambition ruined itself. But anyway, that's why we're going to do what we do here. And as spoken, here is Sphinx in the castle. I mean, in the town. Shrine. Or did I call it the chapel? One of those things. No, oh, I may have done something bad to the cow now. I got along well with her ancestors, so maybe I teased her a bit too much. By the way, Hero Luca, if you have time, would you like to answer some riddles? You don't need to have your guard up or anything. Even if you fail, I won't eat you. It's just a bit of expenditure of free time. Nothing more than play. All right, cool, sure. So then, in total, there'll be three questions. If you answer them perfectly, I'll try and answer them perfectly. 
with any incorrect answer, you're disqualified. But if you get them all right, I'll give you a reward. So then, first one. To start with, let's test your knowledge of old songs. She 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 she. So, like this, how do you read it? I don't know if this is an old song or something. I had to do this by trial and error. But it's neko no koko neko shishi no ko kojishi. In other words, a cat's child, kitten, and a lion's child, cub. Yeah, Japanese is a weird language. Yes, that's correct. You know, come to think of it, I wonder how they're going to translate that. I mean, I think that's impossible. But translators can be pretty clever sometimes. Anyway, we got it correct. It's only natural that you would know this much. Moving on to the next question. A certain husband and wife have two children. Amongst them, one is a girl. So then, the other child, what are the odds that it is a girl? By the way, for boys and girls, the odds of being born that way are 50%. Now, either I'm reading this wrong because I'm not perfect at Japanese, or Toro Toro has this wrong. But anyway, the correct answer is one third. Oh, you're not bad at this. More than expect you've gotten your wrapped your head around these things. I'm impressed. So then the third question. And the final. This time I'm going to give you a different difficult question with no fixed answer. Does a dog have a Buddhist nature, or does it not? I also uh, found out... I also tried this out by trial and error, but after doing a little research, this is actually a fairly famous koan called the Moo Koan. And the answer is Moo. Oh, truly interesting. To think that you at your age have achieved this much wisdom. So, I've lost. Truly interesting this. Go ahead and take this. And we get the Labyrinth Book, Ultimate Edition. This book is... It's a treasure for testing your knowledge. He who opens it shall be drawn into a labyrinth of knowledge. If you can solve some various questions, if you can't solve some various questions, then you can't escape from it. Anybody whose knowledge is half baked will be trapped in the book. <laughs> Uh, nice that I got my hands on it, but it seems a really troublesome book. Absolutely not going to be opening it. Anyway, with this, I broke in the Sphinx's nose. The cow mouse should be satisfied with this. And that's wasting time with the Sphinx for an hour. Oh, Luca, what's happened? What's up? You broke the Sphinx's nose. Why would you do such a cruel thing? Kaomao sama. Have you forgotten? You asked him to go break the Sphinx's nose, didn't you? Oh, that's right, that's right. Since I cooled my head, I completely forgot about it. Yeah, that's because your brain is made of muscle, meathead. 
Thank you, Luca. In exchange, you may ask any you, know, you may ask a task of me. Hmm, a task. I can't think of anything. Is that so? Well, if there's anything that you want from me, ask without any hesitation. So that's what happens if you don't know what to do with her. And what to do with her is to move Giga. Giga is sleeping here. Right here. At the bottom of the stairs. Where we can't get past. So, like this, we can't get up to the third floor. And we don't need to do anything. Normally there'd be a ladder there, but there isn't one in this particular scenario, so... We'd have to move Giga to get up to the third floor. This is repeated before. Yeah, Brooks thinks knows, how could you? Didn't you forget? Yep. That's right. Completely forgot. So, you want me to do a task? Yeah, move Giga for me. An easy task. Just wait here. Ha. Ha. An easy task. <clears throat> easy victory, yeah. Looks like I really made her try hard for this. Anyway, the cow mole should have been able to move Giga. With this, I can ascend to the third floor, probably. Uh, I'm going to take a rest. Bye-bye. So she returns to her room. Along with her two gatherers on. Uh, turn me over. <laughs> uh, somehow I've done something cruel. Huh? But... The cow mao managed to get Giga away from the stairs. Huh, well, sure something will happen. Anyway, let me check my notes. Now oh, we've got some various things to do, don't we? There are a lot of things to do in this particular scenario. And most of them you can do here in the third playthrough. The uh, third iteration. No, not... Not Selene first. I've got this out of order. Boy, am I confused. Magatsu first. Ah, you've come at a good time. I've been waiting for somebody with a bit of spirit to them. Here, just a bit. Massage my soldiers. Uh, yeah, no. I want to ask you about this incident. The same day is repeating. So your memories are the same as yesterday, you're saying? Even though you're so young. That's simply misunderstanding. I've never felt such. Uh, I've never felt such a feeling. And I furthermore have all of my memories from yesterday. The settings here at the here in the dining hall are clearly different. I can't help but notice everything at this table is booze. Uh, no, that's not what I'm talking about. So, Luca explains again. Huh, well... I've, this has turned into a turned into a conversation that my understanding doesn't reach. Seems quite tough. Repeating the same day repeatedly. That's quite a surprising magical technique. Manipulating time like that. According to the physics of this world, yes, more than a, a simple old lady can understand. So then, I'd like to 
consult with you regarding this instrument, though. This incident, though. Huh, there isn't much that I myself can say, it, although that's unfortunate. But to be able to warp time like this is a big accomplishment. Most magic techniques won't be able to do it. Speaking from my own knowledge, in order to do that, something, some cursed item or other, must be involved, I think. Some kind of item, huh? You think it's causing this incident? In order to draw back the days like that, simple monsters or even wizards, I've never heard of them be able to, being able to do that. But if you add some the power of a cursed item that transcended physics, possibly. Surely that does seem like an appropriate way of considering it. So, some kind of item is causing this incident. If that's the case, we've got to discover what that is, item is. Alright, I think I'll be able to good take this knowledge for... Uh, put this knowledge to good use. Thanks a bunch. Well, if it turns out I'm wrong, go ahead and complain to me about it. Although, unfortunately, I won't remember. So, let's gather some information regarding an item that can turn back time. Who could we know that might know something about that? If, for instance, you talked to the Sphinx, consulted her about the incident, she would give you a hint that would lead you straight to Selene. Oh, Luca. If you've got free time, won't you pick some seashells with me? Seashells? That's a strange way of wasting time. But what we want to do with Selene is ask about... An item that can turn back time. An item that can turn back time. How nostalgic. You're speaking of the Statue of Time Reversal, aren't you? You know about it. Yeah, so one time, it was a treasure I held in my hands. It was a lot of trouble salvaging it from the ocean trench. That trench was called the Goddess's Waste Basket. And there were a lot of warped artifacts sleeping there. I kind of need that thing. Sorry, but it's not in my hands any longer. My ship, the Selene, after becoming a ghost ship, is where it remained. No, those Bellsweb girls could be carrying it about. Why don't you ask them? Okay, great. And I've got a few other things. Not just one other thing to do at this time. If I had plotted this out better, I wouldn't have to do so much running back and forth. But Naimiomi also has something she can share with us. No, oh, kiddo. You look like you've got some free time. If you do, help me out in searching for a book. I'm in the middle of some immense research. Yeah, actually I'm here to talk about this incident. So we consult her about the incident. The same day is repeating multiple times. That is strange. 
from the way I see it, it's not any kind of curse. At the very least, according to the knowledge I have, it's true it's not a curse. If you want to doubt me, that's up to you. Just, hmm, wait. It seems there's some kind of sentiment floating through the air, I can feel. It's not... Well, Omnen is one of those sentiments of ghosts filled with hatred. But it's not that. It seems some kind of regret. Regret? I don't feel any malice to it, but it's a strong sentiment. Certainly it's that. The sentiment of regret. As long as it's a strong feeling, it can occasionally cause reality to warp. An old acquaintance of mine was a specialist in that region. Anyway, there's no line to it being a curse. As an exorcist, I can say that much. But if it's not concerning monsters, it's outside my specialty. So, go out, do your best. A strong feeling of regret is floating throughout the Mao Castle. Perhaps this does have some connection to the current space-time incident. Perhaps somebody amongst our allies is holding on to some regret or other. In order to solve this... In order to solve this incident, let's search it out. And now we can ask about... Ask people about what they regret. And with this, I guess we've finished our task at 2 o'clock. Yep. Let's just waste time with some random person who happens to be standing around here. Hey, Luca. If you're bored until the festival, won't you uh, be my apprentice's apprentice librarian? Yeah, sure, whatever. I don't see you much in the library. What kind of book do you read? What kind of books do you read? Okay, adventure, romance, culture and society, erotics, uh, adventurer books. Yeah, that definitely seems like you. How about I introduce you to a famous adventurer work that's doing the rounds. So we get to be an apprentice librarian for a bit. Three o'clock. Not actually a lot to do at three o'clock. And it's not on this floor. Huh? What's this? You want to eat with me? Crumb doesn't have many friends. Please, have a, yourself a meal with her. I do not have few friends. As far as zombie friends, I've got plenty. Does that really count, though? Anyway, we want to consult with you regarding the incident. That is not my specialty. With an is as an as an incident that connects to space time, why don't you go talk to Promistine? Uh by the way, Chrome. Doesn't well don't you kinda stink? Furthermore, it you smell of death. Huh. <laughs> so the, there is still some smell clinging to me. 
until just earlier, I was doing autopsies, after all. Autopsies? I'm an expert on dead bodies. Furthermore, there's no money in the match cards. So then, when I can find the time, I part time as a, I part time doing autopsies. And today I've already gone through five dead bodies. That's in your room, right? Uh, I'd rather not imagine it. But you should figure out a way to uh, drop the smell. It kind of bothers people. When living things die, they rot. And if they rot, they stink. That is a principle of nature. People these days are caught up in the culture of the times and have forgotten these principles. And they say it stinks and whatnot. Our predecessors told, her, told us to think of death. And these things have, and having forgotten these things, our ancestors would uh, mourn for us. Krom, you're just parroting what your sister said. Nanoja! Yeah, what she said. Still, part timing as an autopsist. That kind of bothers me, but we should probably prioritize asking about the castle. But actually, that's really important, too. Anyway, that's all we need to do at 3 o'clock today. Let's waste some time with Chrome. So, eating after work really fills even your heart up. Chrome. Eat your vegetables. Even when we're eating, you're noisy. Chrome, did you take a bath? Why are you talking about baths now? You get along well, don't you? So we do some eating with Chrome and Frederica. And now four o'clock. Same old message. It's from Sonia. She wants help moving stuff. But luckily, we're right here in front of the bells of bugs. No, are you eating too? Since you're here, why don't we eat together? These vegetable dishes are tasty. I like Midia. She's funny. But anyway, we want to ask these girls about an item that turns back time. Since we heard about the Statue of Time Reversal, we can ask them directly about it. If you don't talk to Selene and ask about it, you won't get the, get the item here. And if you don't talk to Magatsu, you can't ask Selene about the item. So there are these various lines you need to follow down in order to get through the, all the, all the uh, dialogue, line, dialogue threads. Anyway, here we are. What's this? You think that we're carrying around a statue of time reversal? Such a horrible thing. I don't recall any. Could it be that one item? That statue with the gross face? Gross? It's cute though. The idea is ridiculous. Oh, that item. That was one of the things we recovered from the ship. So, isn't this it? Stringa pulls out a strange item, strange statue. This is the Statue of Time Reversal. Such a gross item, we don't want to carry it around. You can take it without any hesitation here. 
Rose, it's cute though. So we get the Statue of Time reversal. So I finally got my hands on the item in question. Well, what should I do with it though? Having found this uh, item originating thing, nothing for... We can't exactly destroy it. If we destroy it without thinking it through, it could make things worse. Somebody, I've got to search out somebody I can count on him regarding this. Somebody knowledge about this. I wonder if there is anyone. And yeah, I've completed everything I need to to get to that someone in question. Oh. Gig has disappeared off somewhere. But here we are at Promise Team. Let me save real quick here because sometimes this gets ugly. What's up? I can't uh, take my hands off this at the moment. Okay. Let's consult with Promistine. What's this? A time loop? The same time frame is repeating for you, you say. Why are you smiling? And then, with the ring of the five o'clock bell, the women around you get weird. And after you've been attacked, time runs back. <laughs> what I can think of at the, off the top of my head are 175 possibilities. 175 of them? A curse, or an illusion, or a sensational incident, or a dream, getting caught in a dream, that sort of thing. Aside from a space-time disturbance, there are various patterns that could come out. So then, let's do some analysis. Some investigation. According to what I've heard, we've got all the time that we need. As expected or promised, Dean, I can count on you. So anyway, let's move to my room. In this public laboratory, I don't have all the items that I'm going to need. All right, promised Dean's room. You may notice something wrong here. That's because I've triggered a bug. I'm in Promisteen's room, but it's not fading in and it's not ruining the rest of the scene. But if you take two steps left and go north, you can exit. Now we're on the main floor, like we've just exited Sonia's room, or restarted the level, or restarted the loop. And I need to do something to try and get us to fade back in. Okay, I ran over to the maid. You just go right and up and right. You'll hit her. And she's saying you can't go in the garden, and yeah, I know that. If you go past the maid, just go down a step, right a bit, back up, follow the wall. You hit Melty. And I don't really like her, and I don't care what she has to say, so I'm going to skip to this and say, we're going to spend some time with you. Blah, 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 whatever. Oh, it's five o'clock. Time for her to rape Luca to death and then we start the time loop. The timer all over again. This will be the only scene that I won't be skipping. I hope you enjoy it. Did you enjoy it? That's the only one you get to see. <laughs> anyway, that's a bug. You probably just want to avoid it entirely and I'll tell you how. Here we are at one o'clock again. As expected, here we are. So, together with the five o'clock bill, 
Whoever happens to be near me gets weird. Then they attack me. And we return to now. So, there's some kind of instant going on, no doubt about it. With this, the same time, for, time frame is repeating. A very strange circumstance. So, even one moment faster, I need to search out the source. Hey, pizza delivery! Enough about the pizza already. So, going through this any more, we've got to figure out what's going on with reality here. We did some investigation in the previous loop, but whom should we count on this time? And well, if you say promising here, it doesn't exactly tell you, but this fixes the bug where Promistine will send you to a black screen and you can't do anything. Just listen to Luca talk about Promistine and we are good. So Promistine, without a doubt, I can count on her. With regard to this incident, she is the one who is most appropriate to consult. Promistine, I can find in the research room on the third floor. So, let's do a few things we did yesterday. Gonna take this easy. It's just the same as last time. And we come down here. And this is just the same as last time. Hi, Giga. I'd love to talk to you, but, uh, you know, you don't have anything to say. And now we can talk to Promistine again. Strangely enough, she doesn't say anything introductory-wise. But if we pick this, we'll get down to the right thing. What's this? A space-time loop? You're repeating the same thing. Why are you laughing? So, this will all be the same until we fade out. And we fade back in. This is great. This is my first time coming to Promistine's room. There are quite there's quite a bit of equipment in here. The individual dorm rooms of the pocket mall respond to their their uh, occupants freely, you know. This isn't quite uh, just responding in to your occupants, I think. All these uh, machines, how did you get them? How did you uh, acquire them? Acquire a simple. I was invited off to the San Elias research areas. So with the help from that, various stuffs, Anyway, let's get down to solving this incident. First things first, how about we investigate your body and spirit? What? Mine? This seems to become somehow connected to your abilities, Luca. If we take measurements of your brain waves and other measurable things, we need to see if there's the possibility that there's an irregularity there. If we've got if we start now, we should have time to finish the investig finish the analysis before five o'clock. So let's hurry and start. So, she doesn't really ask for consent or not. And I'm forced to lay down on the bed and so on and so forth. She connects connects the devices and 
intensely investigate. I've come to a conclusion. My measurements of you have shown no irregularities at all. In other words, this investigation was a waste. It's been made clear that there are no irregularities in your body and spirit. That itself is a worthy result. The above knowledge. Okay, take the above knowledge and convey it to me in the next in, in the next iteration. And the next me will take it from there. The next iteration, you say. Oh, it's already nearly five. Looking at the clock, it's just a little bit before five. In no time at all, just like usual, time will be reset. Starting from next time, come and visit me here in my room. In order to do our investigation and analysis, it's best that we take all the time that we can. Okay, I got it. I'll do that next time. So rather than visiting Promising on the third floor, we can come to this room. From when the loop starts, you just go left into the dorms. We didn't learn too much this time, but let's hope for next time, let's promise team. But still, this is a strange sensation. Shortly, the five o'clock bell will ring. And the one who's going to become strange with that bell should be me. I wonder what it will feel like. I'm happy to personally experience it. I'm not happy at all, though. Oh, look, the five o'clock bell. So, it's the signal it's going to repeat again. I won't show you this, but I'll describe it very briefly. Promising brings out a mirror a mirror that she says will show you your ideal as far as the opposite sex goes. And it kills you. And she watches. And takes notes. Anyway, see you at one. Huh. I've returned again. Looks like the ending didn't change. Even Promising will become weird. And I come to the end of my life. Hey, pizza delivery! But we got a great result from consulting with Promising. I've got to tell Promising this time what happened last time. So let's visit Promising in her room. If we've got, while we've got the time, she told us to come by at one. So that, let's go. So let's hurry and consult with Promising. This time we may be able to reveal the source of the incident. So instead of going to the third floor, we go to Promising's room. Just pass through the dorms. You may have noticed there was another option. It's just a little uh, 
erotic image that you could enjoy if you're into that. What is it? Coming to my room like this, has something happened? Ah, that is, you see. We can solve the prompt scene. What's this? A time loop? With this, you're repeating the same loop over and over again. Further, I've got my hands on the Statue of Time reversal. By using the, this item is activated and is causing the loop, it seems. I see. So then, right away, let's investigate this statue. The details I'll have to get run an analysis for. It should take several hours. Until then, I'll have, you'll need to be wait. You'll need to wait for it. Uh, for that interval, I'll try and gather information. There may be something more for me to find yet. So then, when it becomes four o'clock, visit me again. At that time, I'll tell you the results of my analysis. So we give the statue to Promising for analysis. So now we just need to go gather information. Check my notes. Oh, look. We actually already did everything we needed to in the last couple of loops. So then, come on in. And we'll wait till four. Luca, we've got a message for you. Sonia sans calling. Please come to meet her in front of the library on the second floor. Okay, promising should have a result for me about now. Let's go see her. Ah, you've come. I've just finished the analysis of the statue. The result is... It's true. This statue is turning back time. Has the power to turn back time. As the item that's causing this incident, it seems that's... There's no mistake that's the case. The problem is why the item is misfiring the way it is. It's still unknown why it's activating every day at 5 o'clock. Some kind of energy must be resonating or causing interference with the statue. So then, it causes this misfire, is what I'm considering. So, that being what it is, nothing will be solved by destroying the statue. It, time will simply return to as it was before the destruction. In my analysis of the statue, I didn't come to understand any more than this. It is a key to understanding the incident. So, please take good care of it. And Luca receives it back. So, in that case, we need to find the cause of the repeated activations of this thing. I, at the same time, was able to conduct research on another sort of topics. Oh, yes. What she's saying is, while you investigate that, I will at the same time be investigating other things. So anyway, that's the job for me next time. That's how it goes, isn't it? 
So then, you'll be take, keep, uh, taking care of me again next time. It'll be all right. At some time, we'll reach the answer. Step by step, we've got to we've got to just move forward. So, how did I decide? Um, ah. There is another piece of information that we haven't been able to get just yet from a very valuable childhood friend. Ah, Luca. I'm carrying luggage off down to the temple. Won't you help me? Yeah, I'll help. Alright, we split up luggage. You remember where it is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go. Actually, we'll, you'll be helping us more than you'll, we'll be helping you, Sonia. Kaka! QQ! So, Morgan and Nuriko seem to be having fun playing. Oh, Luca! Let's play together! Sorry, but Sonia's with me, she won't let me play. But we can ask Nuriko about the incident. So, that's what's happening, but. This is the same, I think. It's already the five, fifth iteration, huh? It seems that this has been really hard on you, she says. Huh? You've got a grasp of the loops? Luca, due to your inherent nature of... Luca... Due to your inherent nature, you've taken a... You've uh, become a singularity here. It's not that this is... This power of yours is running the muck, though. But there's no doubt, it seems, that uh, some kind of sentiment is causing this. Probably, I think that the that something from outside, a sentiment from outside, is causing this reaction. I'd like to get a taste of this sentiment. Uh, bear with me a moment. So Nuriko bites Luca's hand gently. Nibble, 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 nibble. And Nuriko releases Luca's hand. A choice that is regretted. And a life that was unable to be saved. In order to save that, over and over, repeating the same time frame. That person's spirit, uh, sentiment, has linked up with the singularity that is Luca, and due to that, the time returning magic is activating endlessly. Just who is this person? I don't know what I don't know that where the sentiment is coming from is hard to ascertain but if you ask Promistine she can uh, track it down with her sensors and things and locate the epicenter of it possibly Promistine huh And the point of time reversal, at the point of time reversal, where the women in the vicinity go all weird, 
is regards to the way of fixing back the history. The most appropriate way of, the most appropriate means by which this, this magic can be activated is through some cause of death. And by doing this without a, any space-time contributions, without any space-time contradictions, all the conditions can be met. For a normal person, it would be death by unforeseen accident, but in Luca's case, it's more natural for it to be a death by uh, women troubles. Furthermore, normally in the ca you've seen people, the appearance of people in the castle that wouldn't normally be here, right? That too is proof that something is going on here to make the normal presence of things unstable. Uh, yeah, that's true. I haven't shown you yet, but we're going to speak to one of them. Yeah, I do get the feeling that in the castle we've seen some allies that shouldn't be here. It seems that the that uh, space-time itself is getting a bit warped and uh, having some really odd effects in this incident. And that's about all that I understand. After this, you all need to rely on Promistein. Hmm. Is this all true? Sonia, is Nuriko really saying all that? Well, actually, she has a more cute way of speaking, but aside from adjusting the wording, the contents of are the same, yes. I see. Anyway, we've got some important information from Nuriko. We've got to go and convey this information to Promistine. So that's that. And now that Sonya's in the party, there's only one way we can die. Now, it said the same thing as the first loop. And here we do this, and it's the same as the first loop too. Oh, it's a five o'clock bell, and you know what that means. See you at one. One o'clock again. Again, I've returned to one o'clock. I wonder how many times I'll have to do this. It seems like there's no reward for all of my efforts. We just keep returning back to the same time. Just what do we need to do to pull out of this loop? Hey, pizza delivery! And this too, just like every time. So what do we do this time? Should we consult somebody? Blah, blah, blah. Cancel out. Because we know we need to talk to Promising in her room. What is it to come to my room if something happened? Well, you see, this is, and we tell her, Oh, there's a time loop, and you keep repeating in the same period of time. Now, furthermore, I've heard this from Nuriko. I see. Some magic of time reversal is activating endlessly. And that's what's causing this space-time incident. All right, I understand. Right away, I'll conduct some follow-up experiments to understand what she's conveyed. In order to, in order to understand, take all the measurements I need, it will take several hours. 
And for that interval, I'll go and gather more information. There might be something else. So then, when it comes 4 o'clock, come and see me. At that time, I'll be able to tell you the results of my measurements. So, when Nordico's information, Promistine gets to work. And let's try and get gather more information ourselves, even just a little bit. And by even just a little bit, I mean no more at all. Ah, you've come. I've just finished up the follow-up tests on the Nuroco information. It's true. I've been able to confirm that an effect of magical time reversal is operating here. The cause of the space-time loop is without a doubt that. But we still, still don't know the source of that magic. Furthermore, whatever this person's sentiment that's doing it is also unknown. Well, the investigation has progressed, but we still don't... There are still many things we don't know, huh? In the end, we still got a lot more investigation to do. Anyway, that's, my, that's the job of the next me. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks as always. I'm counting on you next time. Science is a process of piling up these little investigations. If we continue walking along like this, I'm sure we'll, we'll eventually come, we'll certainly come to an answer. There we go. Oh, it's time for us to see somebody who shouldn't be here. You can't even recruit this girl yet, and yet she's hanging out here next to uh, the snowman. So Astaroth's here. What need have you of me? Why is why are you here, Astaroth? Through the effects of this space-time incident, uh, the con the cause and effect relationship has become strained. Anyway, she's got a little bit of lore she can share with us. Luca asks. The six ant the let's say Minagi of the six ancestors. What type of succubus is she? She's incredibly strict, uh, particularly with herself, you know. But then, what about the dark goddess Alice Fees? We are the immediate descendants of Managi, Minagi, but even so, there have only been a few times that we've been able to see her. From the beginning, she doesn't like... It's rather rare for her to show up in front of people or to cause direct influence. She, it seems, considers goddesses to be unnecessary in the world, perhaps. So that's just a bit of lore. We spent some time with Astaroth. And it's five o'clock. And in exchange for lore, we get killed. But that's Luca's problem. See you at one. I gotta tell you, Astaroth takes her time. Okay, we've run back to one o'clock again. I'm getting tired of this. 
No matter how hard we try hard and try hard, it's always the same. I want to break out of this already. Hey, pizza delivery! Hey, pizza... Hey, how did you know that? It's already the seventh time. So what should we do this time? Console somebody? Nah. What is it? Why are you in my room? What's happened? This is how it's going. Oh, a space-time loop. You laugh about this every time. So then, at 5 o'clock, the women get weird, you get attacked. Furthermore, it seems you've consulted with me about this before. We've done investigations regarding your body and spirit. And it seems there's no irregularity in that. So, as expected with Promistine, she understands this stuff fast. So, I see. If there aren't any irregularities in the research, then I can exclude three possibilities from my list of 175. But even so, 172 remain. Science is a process of elimination over time. Even if we can narrow down the possibilities a little, that is a worthy result. So then, next up, I'm going to investigate the possibility that the land of dreams is connected. I think she's meaning the land of the night, which is what it was called during the collab, but... Hell, we'll just say it's uh, interchangeable. Luca, you can go out and work freely or on your own. Huh? It's, you don't need to be around here? The investigation this time is, is uh, targeting the space-time in the vicinity in connection with the land of dreams in the incident before I gathered plenty of observational data. Okay then, during this interval I'll go ask around for more information. Somebody might have more information. So, just like before, if we can gather even a little more. When it comes to be 4 o'clock, come see me again. At that time, I'll tell you what I've come to understand. Alright, thanks. So then, I'm heading out. And now it's going to get a little bit boring, because we're just going to talk to Promistine at 1, then talk to Promistine at 4. And we're going to be eliminating a lot of possibilities, so here we go. Ah, look who you've come. My investigation is just finished. I'll tell you the conclusion. I can see no trace that this was brought along by the nightmares. This incident is unconnected to the land of dreams. Huh. It was wrong this time too, huh? By eliminating the branches, we... Please think of it as by eliminating the branches, we are on the road to understanding. This result too. Tell it... Please tell it to me next time. No irregularity in your investigation of me, and no connection to the land of dreams. Got it. I'll tell that. So, more than this I can't do anymore. It's best that you leave now. If it becomes 5 o'clock, Promisino also will become strange. <laughs> Before she pulls out that mirror, we should leave her behind. Well, no matter where I go, the result's the same, though. 
So then, give my regards to the next me. Yeah, I'll be counting on you again. So we leave her room, and in the last, in our last hour, we can investigate or waste time. Kaka, QQ. Morgan, Nuriko are playing. Oh, Luca, why don't you play with us? Sure, I'll play with you. Come on. Which would you like to eat? An apple or a fish? QQ! Nuriko reaches out her tentacles for both the apple and the fish. Oh, you're such a big eater. But it's going to be the festival soon. You're going to ruin your appetite, you know. QQQ! So we play with Morrigan and Nuriko. Nuriko falls asleep. Oh, she's tired from fall from playing and she's falling asleep. And it's five o'clock. No, it's five o'clock. That means I'm going to die. But I played with Nuriko. I have no regrets. One o'clock. Ah, it just won't go well. What should I do? I think what he says at the beginning of each loop doesn't change, even if you're progressing steadily with Promestina as I am. Hey, pizza delivery! Now that you mention it, just who ordered that pizza? It's already the eighth iteration, and we still don't know who ordered it. Maybe this pizza is connected to the incident. Uh, as expected, that's a stretch. Well, let's start my investigation this time. What is this in my room? What's happened? Here's how it's going. Oh, time loop. Every time you're repeating the same interval. Every time, every time. Why, are you, why do you laugh? Why is it so funny? And then five o'clock, you get attacked. Furthermore, you've consulted with me before. No irregularity in your body. And it's not through the intervention of the nightmares. So then the remaining possibilities are, 100, are 171. Next, let's investigate whether it's investigate the possibility of some kind of curse. Ah, uh, no, no, no. We speak spoke to a curse specialist, Daimyomi. It's not that. But of course, Luca doesn't remember. A curse that would be able to affect all of space-time would be easy to investigate. If I have a few hours, I can get you a result. As expected, it'll take several hours. So in this investigation, for the, I'm going to be investigating area, and I get it. I, from here on, am not, I'm not going to be necessary for this. I'll go investigate our other information. As expected, you're getting used to it. So once it gets to before, we can come back and hear the results. Until then, free time, wander around the castle. Ah, Luca. I've just completed my analysis of space-time. To speak the conclusion, I can't see any effects such as a curse. This particular incident is not the effect of a curse. This was wrong too. One by one we're just, uh, there's a meaning to eliminating these one by one. 
Yes. Have I told you that before? Science is a process of elimination over time. All right, I'll convey this to the next promising. No irregularity in my body and mind. It's not nightmares or curses. So, five o'clock, promising gets weird. Let's leave. So then, give my regards to the next me. All right, I'm counting on you next time. So we leave her room behind us. And we waste time with Nuriko because everybody loves Nuriko. Oh yeah, and Morgan kills us. I've returned again. Was I able to do what I needed to last time? It seems that our investigation is advancing little by little. So let's see what we need to do next time. Hey, pizza delivery. Gob sure is lively every time. All right. I'll do my best too. What is it in my room? What's happening? Blah, blah, blah. There's a space time loop and you keep getting it. And the key at the same time keeps repeating. It's interesting, isn't it? I don't find it interesting. So then at five, you get attacked by the women. And you've been consulted with me before, haven't you? It's not any regularity in your body or mind. It's not nightmares or curses. So then the remaining possibilities are 170. Next up, I'm going to re investigate into the possibility that it's an illusion. An illusion? I'm seeing an illusion, you're saying? This would be an incident of an illusion that affects the entire pocket Mao castle. The po this particular possibility is low, but... Well, I need to confirm this. In order to do the research, it will take a little time for that interval. Luca, I understand I'll head elsewhere. Yes, it's the... Uh, this is what happens, has happened several times. So at four, we can come back for results. Till then, we got to wander around the castle freely. Which means I sleep in the inn for three hours and come back and talk to Promistine. No. No, Luke, you come back. To speak the conclusion, there's no, there's no evidence of the effect of illusions at this time. This possibility can be excluded as well. This just isn't progressing very fast. I understand that we're step-by-step -step eliminating targets, though. What we call science is a process of elimination through the, over the course of time. By your face, you've heard that several times, haven't you? So, I'll convey this information to the next promise team. No irregularity in my body and mind. We can exclude nightmares and curses and illusions. So then, give my regards to the next me. All right, thanks all the time. So I leave Promestine's room behind. And I play with Nudico. One o'clock. Huh, here, it's a new iteration. I wonder how much progress we can make this time. What are you doing, my room? What's happening? Here's what's happening. Oh, time loop repeating. Laugh, why don't you? 
as much as you like. Furthermore, five o'clock, get attacked, etc. And you've consulted with me before, it's not your body and mind, and we can exclude nightmares and curses and illusions. So then the remaining possibilities are 196. Next up is... Hold up here. Are we going to do 169 more iterations like this? No. This is a bit hard to say, but... The order of investigations we've been doing has been the ones that are simplest to investigate. And it's surplus to investigate and eliminate. So, after this, the remaining possibilities, as we continue, will take more and more time to confirm. Probably, in the way it's been going up to now, it won't be completed in 196 times. Well, it could, if the next one is right, or something. Ah, who am I being optimistic for? Somehow we need to get our hands on other information. It, this is going to take a ton of time. Yes, that's how it seems. Oh, excuse me. And that's why, during the time that I've been investigating, I'm counting on you to gather information elsewhere. Right? I get it. So this time, what's the possibility we're analyzing? We're analyzing. This time is truly one that I think the possibility is quite high for. It's the possibility that there's a misactivation in Elias's soul resurrection net. The soul resurrection net. That's the thing that every time I'm defeated in, along my adventure, rewinds time and revives me, isn't it? Yes, that's exactly right. There are many common points between this incident and the soul resurrection net. That's true. I fall, and then time turns back. Looking simply by the results, it's just like the soul resurrection net. So if that operation misfired, and it became the cause of this incident, if you consider it that way, it's refreshing. So then I'm going to take a measure on the movement of holy energy. It's going to take some time, so Luca, I get, I'm headed, I get it, I'm headed elsewhere. You're completely used to this, aren't you? At four o'clock, we can come back for results. Till then, free time. Poochie, I need five hours, three hours. Ah, it's Luca. I've just finished my measurements of holy energy. Unfortunately, I can see that there are an unusual activity. There's no un unusual activity there. The soul resurrection net is also not causing this through misfires. In that case, the soul resurrection net has no connection to this. And I thought it was suspicious, but this was wrong too. But I feel like there is some connection. Nevertheless, we can't get any far further with this investigation. So for the moment, we'll have to set it aside. So then, 
I'll convey this to the next Promstein. Um, Body Investigation X, Nightmares X, Curses X, Illusions X, Resurrection Net X. It's getting kind of long. So then, give your, my regards to the next me. That greeting too. It seems like I'm going to be hearing it several more times. Anyway, we leave Promstein's room behind. And we play with Nuriko. Because everybody loves Nuriko. One o'clock. Here, a new iteration. Wonder what kind of progress we can make. I think this is finally repeating itself. What is it in my room? What's happened? Hey, check it out. This is interesting. Oh, a time loop. It's interesting, isn't it? Ha ha ha. Attack at 5 o'clock. This X, that X, another thing X, another, yet another thing X, blah 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 X. Understand? Hmm, yes, I understand. We're going in order from the ones that are easiest to exclude. So then the remaining possibilities are 168. Next up, the possibility that it's an attack by the Dark Goddess. The Dark Goddess, you say. The Dark Goddess Alice is from the parallel world. Yes, if she managed to weave up a new space-time technique. With regard to... If she could be... The po there's a possibility that she's unleashing a new attack upon Luca. Assuming that it's the work of the Dark Goddess, then it should be operating through the through the intermediary of dark energy. So if we measure that, we should be able to get we should be able to understand. Honestly, the possibility is low, I think, but I want to verify that with my measurements, whether it's the case or not. I see, I understand. So then I'm going to investigate in the meantime. As expected, you're getting used to this. So then leave this to me. Come back for details at four. Poochie, you're the real hero of this whole story. Oh, Luca, I've just finished my measurements of dark energy. Unfortunately, I can't see any evidence of unusual activity. With this, we can eliminate the line of thinking that it's the work of the Dark Goddess. Well, the possibility was kind of thin to begin with. But... By eliminating this line of thinking, we've progressed by one step towards the towards the set of the actual goal. Science is the process of elimination over time. I've thoroughly learned that. <laughs> ah, you understand now. <laughs> uh, but now's not the time for laughing. Going forward, the investigations are going to be getting extremely difficult. Well, the details you can hear from me next time. Luca, go ahead and take the results from this time to ahead to the next iteration, please. Me, X, Nightmares, X, Curses, X, Illusions, X. Resurrection X, 
Dark Goddess X. It's just getting longer and longer, isn't it? Let's abbreviate it a bit. SCDFCFMFSFAF. So something true, false, 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 false. How about we do it like that? I don't feel like decoding that because I kind of know what the answer is. And I don't know what language she did it in. Anyway. Are you really going to understand it like that? I am exceptionally clever, you know. Well, I'm certain I'll understand it. All right. I'll give the next promise in your regards. So then, give the next me. Ah, they said it before me. So I leave promising the room behind. Nudico. Oh yeah, this is definitely repeating now. It's about frickin' time. What is it? My room, blah blah. Here's what's going on. Oh, a time loop. SCDFCF MFSFAF. Do I understand this? A code. Ah, it's the order of our... It's the progress of our investigations. I see, I see. So she did understand it like that. She's kind of amazing. So with this we can narrow it down to it being a space-time phenomenon. Going forward, the investigation is going to be terribly tough. Yeah, that's what the previous promise scene told me. So, what did she mean? So, naturally, a space-time incident will affect all of the world. But its original, its originating point is certainly somewhere near to you, Luca. The remaining possibilities are 167, but in any case, we need to find that ori we need to search out that origin point. In order to do that, we'll need to do some intense space-time uh, measurements. It will take a lot of time, so uh, please prepare yourself. An incredible amount of time. Just how much? In order to take measurements all throughout the pocket model castle, in total until we finish it will take about 480,000 hours. That's taking over 50 years! You know, it's so easy to forget how good Luca is at math until he spits something out like that. If I have to do this over and over that many times, my spirit's gonna break. Well, anyway, that's just the general idea of the measurements that I'll need to do. If we can get a grasp on the origin of the incident, it'll take a lot less time. And for that purpose, we can't do anything but to rely on the information that you've been able to gather, Luca. If there's any information that's bothering you, then possibly we can set our measurement point to that. So then I'm going to begin the general measurements. I'm going in order, and as usual, 
Once it becomes four, we can come and see me. Come to think of it, Crumb said she was doing autopsies in her room. Why don't I go and see how she's doing? This is just my gut feeling, but it bothers me what Chrome's been doing. It just maybe, it might have some connection to the space-time loop. And finally we can do something new. Huh? What do you need? If you want to watch, make sure you do it in a way that you don't interfere. This room is terrible. But something's pulling me onward. Let's investigate this room a little bit. Well, what really jumps out at me is five bodies and one of them still has hair. This dead body is... somehow... different, gives off a different feel than the other dead bodies. No, oh, that dead body bothers you, does it? You've got a good eye for these things. This is... Uh, no, this person is... It's an un... Uh, it's a dead body of unknown origin that was brought from the village of Finoa. He was amongst the list of casualties in the Land of the Night, Land of Dreams incident. That incident in Finoa. A victim of Mus Muska and them. In the Land of Dreams incident, the Muska group took up uh, occupation in the fin village of Finoa. And during that time, lots of people were victimized. Lots of people amongst the villagers. As you know, there were tons of dead bodies that came out of that incident. And there are still many that haven't been, that haven't had their regions identified. I too have been doing these autopsies and have been, been receiving some of them. But amongst them, that dead body in particular is particularly strange. The time when he became uh, a feed for the in those particular succubi is clear. But it doesn't match the regular time frame. His time of death was before the Finwa incident. So what you're saying is they killed him before coming to Finwa, and they just dragged his dead body along with them? Ah, whatever, let's not ask too many questions. So before the Muska group attacked Finwa, he became, vic became a victim? Yeah, strange, isn't it? Furthermore, he had a strange device in his hand. It is, probably, some machina with an extremely high ability for communications. Without a doubt, it's not made by techniques from our world. Just, who is this person, anyway? How about it? Is your curiosity not stoked? This dead body. When did he come here? It was today at one o'clock, though. What about it? Afternoon, one o'clock. The instant that I keep returning to. 
this strange dead body. I get the premonition that it is deeply connected to this incident. Um, that small machina that the body was holding, would you lend it to me? I don't mind, but the possessions of the deceased take care not to use them too uh, vigorously. So we receive the mysterious transmission machina. If we're able to understand what this, what the nature of this machina is, then we should be able to, then it should connect to the origin of the dead body. Let's show it to some of one of our allies who seems knowledgeable and gather information. Pucci, you're still a hero. Because the person that will answer this question will only appear at 3 o'clock. Out of the way, girls. Kazuya! Here there's stuff other than booze. It's a big help that there's iced coffee. Okay, yeah, great, but... Mysterious Machina. This is a smartphone, isn't it? What is this doing in this world? Huh? Cause you know what it is? It's a device that lets you make contact via voice or text to people who are distant from you. Uh, there are other functions that it can fulfill, though. See, I have... Oh, yeah, that's right. I lost everything except for that one gun. So then this is from Kazuya's world? Well, it's not certainly just that. Well, that's not the only possibility. For instance, for instance, it could have come from the Muska Group's world. N if I recall correctly, Muska said that smartphones don't connect here. That's right. And there was also the thing with the uh, handjob karaoke. Their world and my world are fairly similar, it seems. I am not fully, am not really knowledgeable about the inner workings of smartphones, so. Excuse me. I can't confirm whether it's come, whether it's come from my world or not. So with this, we've confirmed that it's called Smartphone. And it seems a high possibility that it's connected to the Muska group. Let's hurry and tell this to Promestine. This is going to be a... This might become a key for solving the incident. Thanks a bunch, Kazuya. And actually, I don't need to talk to Promestine this time. Let's play with Nuriko. Yeah, this looks the same as usual. Even though it's only 3 o'clock. Now it's 4 o'clock. Oh, Sonia's calling. And I can talk to Promisine too. Screw Promisine. And see you next time, guys. You see, after speaking to Promisine, after speaking to Kazia, Lucas says, let's go tell Promisine right away. 
but it actually won't let you tell her until 1 o'clock the next iteration. What is it? This is my room. What happened? Here's what we're doing. Time loop. Same things. Now, actually, it looks like I messed up. I am going to have to see Promistine one more time before she'll actually listen about the cell phone. Oh, balls, I was certain I had this figured out. Sorry for the repetition. So, now Lucas says, with regard to the device found on the dead body, let's talk to Promisine next time about it. There's much time until 5 o'clock. We won't have time to do the analysis. Ah, you've come. The analysis this time has gotten through G00000 to G0146. So we've set, we've cleared through zero, from zero through 146. Tell that to the me next time. Got it, it seems like this is going to take a long time. Well, I'm repeating myself here, but in total it's going to take a lot of time. If you are able to get any information how we can narrow down our search, Yeah, narrowing down search is up to my actions. I'll be your feet and your ears. So, I'll do my best. <laughs> Alright. I'm sure this will work. Of course, if you'd asked me last time, I would have said it, I was sure it would work then, too. Okay, my room. Here's what's going down. Time loop. But there's something that's bothering me. In Chrome's room, there was a strange dead body. So we tell about this dead body and the smartphone. So, a dead body that came from Muska's world. I see. That does truly bother me. So then this time, let's measure in the vicinity of Chrome. All the uh, space-time irregularities. It's going a bit out of order, but I think it best that we prioritize this. Alright, I'll leave it to you. So then, I'm off to gather info. Wait, wait just a second here. I've got a big hit all of a sudden. There's been a big reaction. Huh? It was in Chrome's room after all? Yes, without a doubt. Probably. That corpse is the epicenter of the space-time incident. What is this? What is this? Dimensional space is piled up in a loops over and over. Just what happened over there? So let's go take a look. I'm going to investigate that corpse again. We've finally got we finally got our hands on it. The nucleus of the incident. And I'm going to hurry over to Chrome's room. So, this is a person that came from Muska's world. This dead body. Just who is it? 
So, Luca investigates the bed dead body. But it's not his specialty, so he doesn't really know what's up here. Yep, I don't get it. If only I could speak to dead bodies. Speak to dead bodies? Of course you can do that. Huh? Well, the dark arts. The arts where you make corpses to dance and you speak with spirits and you play with dolls. Calling for the spirit, the spirits of the dead to speak is a piece of cake. Did you forget I'm a talented member of the Altaeus clan? Manipulating spirits isn't my a special specialty within it, but I'm more talented than your average user. So then, I'm counting on you. Please, uh, I'd like you to call forth the spirit of this dead body. Normally, I wouldn't want to call back the spirits of the dead for this, but the situation is what it is. Can't be helped. So then, here I go. A soul that, soul that carries with it a regret. Dance into this world once again. So, Chrome does her thing, and the soul reacts. So the corpse's owner, the dead body, reveals itself. This is... I am. So ask him whatever you want to ask him. This technique makes me pretty tired, so I can't maintain it for very long. Oh, you can't maintain it for very long? How about I leave you hanging for three hours? God, I'm such a jerk. But she still held it for that long. You are just who are you? My name is Toru. My life was taken by those, that succubus, by Muska. Over and over, by Muska, by Nemea, by Venom. Every time I was sucked to death by them, and time would roll back over and over. <laughs> As expected by Muska, Muska's group. You need to finish your, your conversation in a short time period here. I told you that. I can't. The time that I can maintain this is short. Yeah, that's what you say. Okay. With regard to any regrets. I, in order to save myself, made a sacrifice of another person's life. Over and over. I searched as time re reversed. Yeah. A way to save his life. But no matter how many times I did it, it was no good. In that house... He would die over... Would continue to die in my place. He whom I didn't even know the know of. He whom I didn't even know the name of. I wanted to save. That is my regret. So in order to save that someone, he repeated time over and over. That, uh, yeah, sounds a lot like this incident. Okay, a tool that turns back time. In that house, I picked it up. 
With that statue, time would turn back over and over. Toru's spirit takes a look at the statue of time reversal Luke is holding. With expressive eyes, they gleam a bit with reason. That statue is a different one than the one that was in my hands, but it resembles it greatly. Probably its effect is the same. With that statue, time rewinds back over and over. So it seems like Toru put, got his hands on a similar item, a similar statue. I wonder if that's connected to this incident. Hey, let's ask about whether you ordered the pizza. The one who ordered the pizza was I. To that demon's house. I did it to call another person to that demon's house. And then, in my place, he became a sacrifice. That pizza delivery man. I... I killed him. I regret it all. All the more I regret it, I can't regret it enough. He disappeared. That's the limits of my power. But, certainly, that toll route, or whatever, it didn't achieve nirvana. So that spirit of regret will activate the treasure that reverses time. So then, if we can get his spirit to, you know, achieve nirvana and all, Rest in peace. Well, even if you did so, wouldn't time simply reverse again? Probably it won't solve the problem. So then, what should we do? Anyway, let's report to Promistine. We can tell her that we talked to Toru's spirit and that he's the nucleus of the incident. Okay, cool. But because I didn't talk to Toru immediately, and I waited until 4 o'clock, I found another bug, and Promistine won't talk to me now. Uh, let's play with Nuriko! Okay, I did all the things and now I speak to Promistine. Hey there, this is my room, what you doing? Here's what we're doing, time loop. Furthermore, through all these iterations, I've come to this dead body in question. It's been a lot of trouble to get this far. So, Luca explains, Everything he's learned from Toru's spirit. I see. With this, I think I've basically solved the riddle. Please wait a bit. In order for conference case. In order for confirmation, I'd like to I'd like to investigate a few things. Alright then I'll This time it won't take several hours. I'm just going to need Chrome's help with this. So we call Chrome in here, and the two of them discuss something complicated. All right, we've kept you waiting. Finally, we've come to an, we've uh, wrapped up the conversation.
And we've come to a method of, of solving this loop. To give it a name, it is the Promestine's Gate Operation. So here we go, we're going to explain the basics. Before explaining the basics, shouldn't we explain the current situation? Oh, come on, girls. Do you know how long I've been recording? Oh, yes, that's right. Let's sum up the current situation. This is how it goes. What is this? Uh, Chrome and I are not artists. Anyway, with one look at this, you should get the general idea. It should explain everything. Nope, I don't understand at all. Uh, an explanation, please. Can't be helped. So our investigation up, up to now has... We have under, come to understand the following through our investigation up to now. Before Muska, Nemea, and Venom came to this world, the three of them had trapped, imprisoned, a certain youth. And that youth was Toru. As one of the seven heroes, he was called forth into this world. Oh, so he was one of the seven heroes. But after transporting here, he was killed by Muska. And thanks to that, without even seeing his face, we didn't even have the opportunity of seeing his face. So while Toru was imprisoned by Muska's group, we don't know how many times, but we don't know how it happened, but he got his hands on a certain item. And that was a statue that would roll time back upon the death of its holder. It's something with, it's a structure with basically the same effect as the Statue of Time Reversal from our world. And through the power of that statue, Toru was able to turn back time over and over. And through the repetitions, he tried to escape from Muska's group's house. And the way he did that is by attempting to order pizza to the house. By calling a victim to take his place, you see. So, that plan went well, but... And he was able to advance his escape plan. But Toru's good heart was hurt by this. And a great, deep sense of regret was left in him. It seems that he tried very hard to find a way that he could also save the pizza guy. Return, rolling time back and repeating it many, many times. But in the end, he was unable to find a way to save the pizza guy. And at that point, the Land of the Dreams incident occurred. Muska's group and Toru as, more, as well were called into our world. And then he was sucked dead by Muska. Because the world changed, or because he lost the statue, in that circumstance, he wasn't able to roll back time. So then, Toru dying like that was left with this regret. 
feeling that he had killed the pizza guy, he harbored a deep regret. And that remaining sentiment was able to activate the statue of time reversal existing in our world. So then, it started this endless time loop. And the one who, and the singularity that got to ex experience the effects of that was you, Luca. You and only you were able to perceive everything. The repeating time. Well, there was no recall, too. So the starting, the start point of the time loop was afternoon, 1 p.m., when Toru's body was brought in. Since he was brought close to the statue of time reversal, his, his remaining sentiment got, managed to activate it. And the time when time reverses, 5 p.m. in the afternoon, it was probably the time when the pizza guy died in his world. So, the one who ordered the pizza in our world is... We've confirmed it. The pizza order came from this smartphone. Naturally, in this world, smartphones can't work, but... Toru's sentiments got to activate it. And through some kind of telepathy, sent out a signal. So then the pizza order was accepted and, well, that's how it went. It could be that it was a message to us, uh, to you in this world, Luca. By the way, this solitary observer, what's that mean? That's in the drawing. Over there on the left, above the point down. Now that is you. In this world, the one that, while it's looping, only you are able to do the observations properly. And the three pizza guys floating off into the air. As Luca describes, those are the things in the upper right. That's a representation of the lost lives of the pizza guy. Only three are written, but in actuality there were countless. Okay, there's an arrow from the Statue of Time Reversal. And it says omitted. Yeah, Statue of Time Reversal is in the upper left, and there's an arrow which is labeled omitted. The specific operation and the mechanisms are still kind of unknown. So in order to, to avoid putting it into certain words, uh, for the moment, we said omitted. In case you're curious about the rest, there's uh, at the bottom, visible, you can see world line. At the bottom, beneath the text box, it says time loop. And that arrow pointing up says... I need to make it so that it didn't happen. The feeling that I need to make it so it didn't happen. Okay, yeah. I want to avoid making any comments on the drawing, but... I think I've gotten the general gist of what is going on here. So, 
What do I need to do in order to solve the incident? Yes, from here we're going to explain the basics of the operation. Finally. Since the statue of time reversal is operating, it's going to be extremely difficult to solve the incident. Even if we destroyed the statue of time reversal, time would roll back immediately and the destruction of the statue would be as if it never happened. At the same time, we can't er erase the lingering regret of Toru. Even if we forced him to rest in peace, achieve nirvana, time would still roll back. Back to when he still held the regret. So then there's nothing we can do. But we are the Petite Alliance of Knowledge. Through the power of science, the impossible becomes possible. Nanocha! What she said. We can't erase the Statue of Time Reversal, and we can't erase Toru's regrets. But we just have to regress. We just have to erase the incident that itself caused Toru's regrets. We need to erase an incident itself. Oh. We need to save the pizza guy in question. If we do that, Toru will not have this regret of hanging over him. Save the pizza guy? But that happened in the past, in another world. <laughs> A plan to make the, make possible the impossible. That itself is this, Promestine's Gate Operation. Nanocha! So, you're going to return to the past, and we're going to send you into Muska's house. Then, you'll save Toru and the pizza guy. And if you do that, the past itself which gave rise to Toru's regrets will disappear. With that, the space-time loop itself will be solved. But can we really do that? You yourself, you, you possess the power to to overcome the walls between dimensions, don't you? Of course, the space-time transmission I will be undergoing. I'll be conducting the support for the space-time tra transmission. As you know, it's extremely difficult to transport to another world. And this, even now, We've got our visitors from the other world that we can't send back after the whole Land of Dreams incident. But with regard to this Promestine's Gate operation, we've got an extremely lucky factor to take. Here in our world, and in the world on the other side, the statue of time reversal exists. Further, it's a treasure that brings about a certain space-time phenomenon. The two, the 
synchronization of the two statues, if we take advantage of it, we can we can set the coordinates on the other side. Huh? Huh? Well, you don't need to understand the difficult turns of logic in this. You just leave the difficult parts to us. And well, to be honest, the physical science, the physical field is outside my specialty. We're relying largely on promising support here. So then, theoretically, it should go well. It's possible for us to send Luca into Muska's world. All right, I understand. I'll trust you too. But is it going to be that just I am sent into Muska's house? Yes, that's how it's going to have to be. With the technique available at our disposal, it's all we can do to transmit you alone. I alone need to save Toru and the pizza guy, huh? This is going to be a troublesome job, it seems. It seems like a very high possibility that I'm going to be facing off against Muska's group. I, by myself, I feel really uneasy about this. Uh, uh, furthermore, how do I get back? It's not that you're going to leave, be leaving me by myself in Muska's world, right? When the mission has succeeded, at that point we'll pull you back from this side. If you fail, well, you'll die anyway, so time will run back. I'll die anyway, you say. Well, actually, that is how it goes. This is turning into a really complex plan, but that's how we got to do it. In order to bring an end to this incident, we've got to draw the curtain on this time loop. So if you come to understand the plan, let's put it to work right away. Actually, we've during the exploration there in our spare time, we commenced, we forwarded all of the preparations. And we've already completed the setting of the coordinates. Since it was a long explanation, we got to finish everything. So then, let's go ahead and send you right away. Luca, are you prepared? Uh, no, I want to say first, it's, I... No, we don't have time for that. We have nothing but time, Promisteen. Ignoring Luca's will, let's force this operation to commence. No, you asshole, do you have any idea how long I've been recording? No way. You need to word it more strongly, Luca. Preferably with you asshole in it. So then, I'm going to please have yourself a lie down on the bed. Drum, is it alright to be entrusting the monitoring of his brainwaves to you? Yep, I can manage the manage the signals of his vital signs. And Promistine, you can just concentrate on maintaining the gate. Understood. So then, let's set the coordinates. 
with this promising prom, take a short amount of preparations and... So then the space-time gate is opening. Let's begin the Promestine's gate operation. Promestine flips the switch and here we go. Wah wah wah. I'm sucked into a space-time gate. Ooh ah. Oh, Toru's speaking. Ooh ah. This is underground. Have I arrived in Miska's house? Who are you? You're not a succubus or a demo, it seems. You're Toru, huh? It seems I have arrived safely. I'm Luca, a hero arrived from another world. I've come to save you and the pizza guy. You know of me, and you've come to save me? And the pizza guy, don't tell me. Yes, I know that you've been captured by Miska and her group. And I know that you've been repeating time. Everything. I know everything. You know, he says that and it's actually surprising. It's basically true. Anyway, you can just hide here. Where's the pizza guy? He hasn't come yet. I asked him to come at 5 o'clock, but... Oops, I pressed a button. Oh well. In that case, it's just a little bit before 5. I don't have much time to work with. I'm in enemy territory, and I don't know what's going on. And even so, to wander around without any direction is the same as suicide. Maybe I should get as much information as I can from Toru. But minute by minute, the arrival of the pizza guy comes closer. Uh, most important, I've been recording too long. So. Thanks for watching, and we'll see how we can cut through Muska's house, or it's underground, or whatever, next time. Thanks again, and I'll see you again later.